on your side. If you had COVID-19 and feel like mentally you just can't function the way you used to, you're not alone. COVID brain is now a recognized medical term for those with this long form COVID side effect. And there's a study being conducted by Spectrum Health and Dr. Michael Lawrence is a clinical neuropsychologist and he's heading up the study alongside researchers from Michigan State University. And you're here to tell us a little bit more about it. What does the study look at? Sure, and so what we know with COVID, and we know um, a lot more than what we did when the pandemic started, but there's still much to learn, is that there are autoimmune effects with this and inflammatory effects. And so you see people with significant COVID that are at risk of bleeding, stroke, uh, infarct, uh, but we know that individuals with even mild symptoms have lasting effects. And people describe things like memory loss, depression, sleep difficulties, uh, and, and a lot of what they call fibro fog, kind of COVID fog, where you just feel foggy and out of it. And what we think is that this may be a manifestation of some inflammation related issues. And so the research that we're doing is we're comparing individuals that have had COVID and recovered to individuals that are still suffering from some of these symptoms. And we're looking at biomarkers, mainly inflammatory and stress biomarkers to see if we can start to tease out are there certain inflammation related markers that are contributing to these lasting effects? And of course, we've been talking about inflammation as it relates to COVID-19 throughout the pandemic. Doesn't matter whether you've had original COVID, Delta or Omicron, still highly inflammatory. So what is it about that inflammation that is causing this brain fog? Yeah, and, and that's what's really challenging to tell. What we think, at least from symptoms that have been reported is that this affects what we call the limbic pathway which is the part of the brain that controls emotion, memory, and attention. And so people are often describing symptoms consistent with depression, fatigue, mental fogginess, they feel drained, attention-related difficulties. Um, and, and so the idea is, is if we can identify biomarkers that lead to the inflammation, then we can catch this early and we can start treating symptoms before people are suffering from these symptoms for months at a time. So what are some of the um, specifics that you're looking for, for anybody who might want to participate in this study, because it is still open for enrollment? Yes, yeah, so it's an open study, and we're looking at individuals from ages 25 to 55 that have either recovered from COVID or still are reporting symptoms consistent with COVID. And these don't have to be individuals that have been hospitalized that have significant forms of COVID, but even individuals that were never hospitalized, but they're still struggling months after with some of these symptoms. Right. Well, thank you so much for letting us know that this study is going on. A lot of people will be interested in it, of course. I've got information on how you can apply to be a part of the study on 13 on your side.